In 1948, a little child, known as Child K, lived in Nazi Germany. He had no arms and only one leg. The parents thought the child could never be normal, so they asked Hitler for the permission of euthanasia. Hitler allowed it, and the child was euthanized. After that, Hitler ordered similar actions in similar cases. In 1939, as part of Action T4, all patients in the whole country were registered. Patients with inheritable diseases, criminal patients, Jewish patients and antisocial patients were declared as unworthy to live. During Action T4, 70,000 people were gassed. But in 1941, the program stopped. Historians think that members of the church protested against it. But after Action T4, they continued killing people, but more secretly. The patients were killed in clinics. Either they got an overdose or were starved to death. In total, 200,000 patients were killed until 1945. At least 2,300 patients were killed in the Isar Ampel clinic. Today, the clinic is used as a psychiatric clinic. Dr. Hermann Fannmüller was the clinic's director from 1938 to 1945. He gave the order to kill thousands of persons, including over 300 children. It was 1945 when Melita Burger was told about her mother's death. The doctor told her that her mother died because of issues she had with her liver. It was a lie. Her mother had schizophrenia, so she became a victim of euthanasia. Melita Burger found out the truth about her mother's death 70 years later.